Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello and welcome to Really Random Rants. The show where we do just that. I'm Tim. I'm Vic. And I'm Al. And today we're talking about the top 10 movies that we're most excited for in 2017 and then we're going to give some honorable mentions as well. So let's get started. Okay so as of um, uh, right now we are excited about a movie that we're going to be seeing today but, it's, but when we release this video uh, it will have already come out like a Batman. Uh, I've been excited about this thing since Lego Movie. Since just the Lego Movie came out. Anyway, so, top number 10 is Kong, Skull Island. This is a new take on Kong, as opposed to there being a damsel in distress. It's a crew of people who are going to explore an island, being stuck on that island, and fighting off small monsters. And I think maybe the bigger monster too. Maybe Kong too. This is not a spoiler alert. Yeah, it also yeah. today. Uh, this is not a spoiler alert, but apparently one of the characters, I'm not sure who, in this no, movie no, no. is going to... I'm sorry. One of the characters in this movie is also going to be in the next Godzilla movie. That way they can make the connection before yeah. Big Face Off. But yeah. So, so that's excited cool. about that movie. <gasps> so that's Khan. Okay, uh, next on the list is Logan, which is a continuation of the X-Men movies, right? And it's Hugh Jackman's last time as Wolverine. It's the last X-Men movie. It also, uh, it also, it's introducing a new character, X-23, who I am excited about personally. She's basically, she's, she's Wolverine's clone, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the female, not a clone. It, it was supposed to, so. it's... It was it's people it's, it's trying, a failed clone of people the trying to clone the, the Wolverine program thing. Which was a copy <laughs> Which was of a copy the Captain of America. The America. 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 So you can so. see why it turned out as a female, because it's just not the best of the best. This is just like the worst of the worst so far. But it looks really good. The reason this is not a number this is number nine and not really placing as high some of the other ones. We are all too young to see it it's as R. of this moment yeah. because it's rated R, and so. But as soon as we're we, all the we right age, go, boom, we could go to watch it on our own without without, 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 without an adult an 18 there. Plus 17th birthday, I'm watching Logan. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 17. So what's the first thing you want to do when you're 17? Watch Logan. Oh, well, but I'll be what, to see watch it Logan. in the summer. <laughs> But, yeah. Right. Coming up at um, number eight, we have Pirates of the Caribbean 5, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I learned a little bit more about this movie. I am so pumped. The Super Bowl trailer, I think, well, first of all, has definitely been the best trailer for this movie so far. I, I couldn't hear the trailer. I could only see it. That's what happens when you're at a Super Bowl party. Okay, so, if, if I may, basically the concept is that, it, so in the first... Um, a Pirates movie, you had um, a people who were supposed to be dead but weren't dead. In the second two Pirates movies, you were people who would move the dead, like you would move the souls of the living to the, the land of the undead, of the dead. Now, you have the dead as the villains of the movie. You might as well just call the Pirates of the Caribbean movies the zombie Pirates films. Because they practically are. Yeah. I mean, it kind of is. Orlando Bloom is back again. Ah! Which is good. Because he wasn't in the fourth one. And everyone knows why we need Orlando Bloom back. Because the fourth one is by far one of the worst films ever made. And especially one of the worst films in this movie. In this again, movie. why that is at turn. number eight, if you're wondering. What? First of all, we are more excited for the ones coming up. And second, because of the fourth one failing, we're not sure how it's going to do, especially because it's been a long time since a Pirates movie came out. So we're not sure if we'll do good, but... Oh yeah, and also in the fourth one, it was a guy trying to avoid death. So everything in the Pirates movies has to do with death. Yep. So that but is... Looks good. Can't Pirates. wait to see that. Now we get into the, t into the two superhero movies that we're excited about seeing. 
Wonder Woman. Oh my word! I am so excited for this film. It looks like... Okay, so you know how uh, the promos for uh, Man of Steel and BBS and uh, Squad were all good promos, but they didn't, like, they got you hyped for it, but they didn't get you, like, you didn't, like, even if it wasn't a movie about characters you haven't seen in, on screen before, you, you, you were, you wouldn't have been excited about this. For Wonder Woman, this just looks like a good movie. Like, the other ones, they look like they're gonna be good movies for the universe, they look like they were gonna be good movies for the universe, or, like, they were gonna be good movies for those characters. Wonder Woman just looks like a straight up wonderfully made movie so far from what we've seen. So well, we're looking forward to seeing what that will be like. Yes, hoping that it will save the DCEU because right now their track record is not too good for people that aren't just comic books. Well, and everything has been polarized. It's like either you love Batman v Superman or you hated Batman, Batman v Superman. Either you love Man of Steel or you hated Man of Steel. Either you hated um, uh, Suicide Squad or you hated Suicide Squad. So, they don't have a great track record so far, but hopefully, 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 Wonder Woman is going to be the first. But, we have, if Wonder Woman is the first good one so far, that means that Wonder Woman is the best part of the DCEU so far. Because in Batman v Superman, don't tell me that that was not your favorite part of Batman v Superman. And notice how Suicide Squad, she wasn't in it, so. Man of Steel, people didn't like it as oh, much. Uh, half and half. Yeah. Number in. six, Thor Ragnarok. <sighs> Doctor Strange, Thor, and Hulk. Uh, oh, World, World Breaker Hulk. I am so excited about this film. Not oh. to mention Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. So you all, get all those actors, they're <laughs> the whole actor now. They have they're all like all the actors I know what you're the they all have groups of fangirls. So this movie is going to be taken over by Marvel fangirls, basically, because you get all those actors that they love. I think I might be a Goween <laughs> fangirl. Alright, we're very excited for this. So coming up at five, which is halfway there. Beauty and the Beast. Yes, we are more excited for this than Thor Ragnarok. I am so excited for <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. It could be though, because Thor Ragnarok hasn't even gotten any trailers yet, who, so all we know is who doesn't past, love who yeah, doesn't love a classic Disney movie and then a retake on it. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. oh, but, but Gaston. Am I right in saying that Gaston is acted by Orlando Bloom? I'm not sure. I think. I think I could be wrong on this, but I think Gaston's acted by Orlando Bloom or someone who's like, Oh, I know it's got, a the it, in this it's got a stellar cast. The trailer makes it look great. I'm excited for this. We now move on to number four. Okay. Number four. Justice League. Okay, so... Justice, uh, the DCEU, again, doesn't have the greatest track record. And Justice League has never been made by uh, into a live action film before. Well, technically there was that pathetic one from the 90s clip right now. We all need heroes in our lives. Sometimes we find them in the most unlikely places. But a uh, but a, but a high budget. Like there's it's never, never been like a big a big film. Before. A big film. I think that was even a TV movie, so like it's still yeah. not a. So it's the first time it's been like movie theaters and everything. And so that's mainly what we're looking for. The reason why I'm so the, the, one of the main reasons I'm excited about this film is they're finally giving Aquaman some love. This guy looks like a beast. I mean, look at him. He's a beast. Jason Momoa, he might not have blonde hair, he might like have a mu have a mustache and a beard and everything. He might not have all the armor on him, or he might not have like the gold thing and then the green pants. I don't care, this guy looks like a boss. Finally! The next one is... Number three is 
Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This, we've already seen that Marvel has made many successful movies. Not to mention they've already made one good Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yeah. So now, there's going to be another one. We're all excited. It looks good. You get Baby Groot. Yeah, you also have the new the brand. You, okay, so Groot was already level. Now you have the cute factor of him. He's like this big. <laughs> so cute. And then we have at number two, Star Wars Episode Eight, The Force Awakens. No, I'm just kidding. Star Wars Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. It's it red is. letters. Yeah. Uh, yeah that. All I know about this is the next Star Wars movie. And Luke Skywalker will have as lines. Seen as I assure you. So we're hoping it'll be as successful as the last Star Wars movie they made. Well. The last Star Wars one is the Star Wars. Well, even, like, even if it was as successful as Star like, One, that's still great. Maybe, like, maybe. We're hoping it will be as good as Episode Seven and not prequel fans of Menace. Maybe it will be. Maybe there's a force power to take away your voice. So really, Kylo Ren took away Luke's voice, which is why he didn't talk in Episode <laughs> Seven. And so he just we, off. yeah, Episode Eight, you're expecting him to say a line. He, and, and he won't have any yeah, here's, here's, sign language now. Here's the one thing I'm very upset about. Luke will not be able to live up to the expectation that everyone's building up for his first words. Because it's impossible. People are so excited because he didn't say anything. They're so pumped. I'm afraid that he won't be able to say something worthwhile. Like, no, not worthwhile, but like, people will be really disappointed by what he says. <laughs> his first word Jar Jar Pete. His first words are, a what's your weapon? I mean, you know hard. <laughs> so, honorable mentions, emoji, Cars 3, Boss Baby, Transformers, Life, The Lego Ninjago Movie, and Power Rangers. I was afraid you were going that one up. Mm-hmm. Our, our list here is a little goofy, but good job. So, now we go the number one. Go to next week's video to find it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Right. Ow. Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh my word. This movie looks so good. Okay, so let's think about it. It's got Michael Keaton. It's got the best Spider-Man so far. It's got Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. And it's got Zendaya. It's got nerdy guys who break my heart when they drop a star, a, a Lego Death Star, and they have a high budget and a good universe to back it up. They have never had that in any Spider-Man movie before. Oh, so, not to mention the fake Avenger mode. <laughs> so we are really looking forward to this one again. It's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they've done some really successful movies in the past. They haven't made it. really, I mean... Okay, so let's just talk, think about this. Almost yeah. all of them have to succeed except Hulk and Hulk. Mm. Just Hulk is the only one that failed. And that was due to lack of high quality CG at that time. And also, people people weren't really ready for a Hulk film at the time. I don't right. think either. But it was just too sad. Yeah. <laughs> so, that is our list. We hope you enjoyed it. What movies are you most excited for this year? Tell us in the comments below. And if it's another year, tell us the movies you're most excited for that year. End yes. card in three, two, one. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, watching this video the whole theme through, following us on all the social medias, checking out our IMDb page, watching this video and that video, as well as some videos suggested in the icon. Uh, Again, comment below with the movies you're most excited for this year. Hashtag Dead of the Universe and have a really, really random day.